Are you a fan of yellowtail sashimi? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to make this yellowtail platter in this tangy and delicious sauce that is so, so easy to make and it tastes just as good as what you would have at a local restaurant. And a bite of this yellowtail with this sauce wrapped up together, OMG, it's so good that you're gonna thank me. And most importantly, you're gonna thank yourself for making this gourmet yellowtail dish that tastes so delicious. 오늘의 레시피, 맛있는 방어회 만들기. 오늘도 여러분들과 영어를 함께 하겠습니다. Ooh. The yellowtail just literally melts in your mouth. It tastes like butter. So good. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. So to make our sauce for our yellowtail, we're gonna add one tablespoon of all-purpose soy sauce use Korean preferably, and we're gonna add one tablespoon of brown rice vinegar, 현미식초. If you don't have this, just use any distilled white vinegar or apple vinegar. And to this, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of brown sugar. And then I have a microplane and lemon, and then we're just gonna zest once, twice, three times, and turn it over. And we're just gonna add a little dusting of lemon zest to our sauce. And then just mix it to dissolve our sugar. Give it a good whisk for about a good minute. All right, so we're gonna have a quick taste test. Ooh, that's good. It's tangy and just the right amount of saltiness and then the lemon zest. It's not overpowering, it's just a subtle, zesty taste in the back of my mouth. And the sweetness is very, very subtle. It shouldn't taste sweet at this point. And we're gonna put a plastic wrap over it. And we're gonna put this in the fridge while we get the rest of the ingredients ready to keep it chilled. So for our toppings, we need some fresh jalapeno slices. So I'm gonna cut it down here, take the tip away, and I'm gonna cut them as thin as I can go, like that. So we need one jalapeno slice per each slice of yellowtail. This recipe is for about 12 to 14 slices of yellowtail. And for me, I don't like to have seeds with my pepper, so I would take it out. But if it doesn't bother you, just leave it. And then we're gonna leave this on our plate for now. And we're gonna slice up some red onions. So each sashimi slice will get a thin sliver of red onions. So about this much for now. We're gonna pick it up and add it to our plate. And here I have some masago fish roe for our topping. So here I have sashimi grade yellowtail. And what you wanna do is always use a sharp, sharp knife. And make sure to sharpen your knife before you start. So what you wanna do is start from here and then we're just gonna do one line drawback, okay? Hold our sashimi, go across. Go across like that. Go across. And go across. So ideally you want to do it with one stroke, but this is a very thick piece of meat. So I'm going one and then twice across. That's why the sashimi chefs, they use a very long blade knife so they could cut each piece in one stroke. But we're doing in two because this one's fat and my knife isn't as long. And if you missed last recipe on how to make spicy tuna avocado tower, check it out because that's simple to make and just as delicious as this one. So we're gonna plate our sashimi slices like so. And our last slice right there. Then we're gonna add our slice of onions like so. And our last onion slice sliver right here. And we're gonna add our jalapeno right in the middle. If you're not a fan of jalapenos or anything spicy, you could skip this part. Or just put half a circle of a jalapeno if you're not into spicy food. Last one like so. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of our fish roe right on our jalapeno like so. And our last one like so. And just for garnishing, we're gonna put a little bit of our radish shoots in the middle, like so. And here's our chilled sauce that we made earlier, so it's nice and cold. So what you wanna do is start from here and just try to place it between 
each slice. And as always, as soon as this is plated, it should be eaten right away, and it's done. So let's pick one up. Bon appetit, everyone. Mm. First of all, the yellowtail just literally melts in your mouth. It tastes like butter. So good. And the jalapeno just added like this nice kick in my mouth. Ooh. And then the tangy sauce that we made just pulls everything together. Red onions gives it a nice little sweet, crunchy taste in my mouth. And then the fish roe just like, you know, pops in your mouth with that like buttery, salty taste. Ah, make it for yourself, friends and family, and they're gonna give you hugs and kisses for this because it is so, so good. And it's pretty simple to make. Before you go anywhere, next recipe is on making Korean lettuce wrap, but using blanched cabbage with grilled salmon. So good. So don't miss out. So hit that notification bell and subscribe if you have not done so. So we can make this dish together. I wanna to thank everyone for watching today. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I wanna kindly, kindly ask you to click on that thumbs up icon. Doing so supports my channel tremendously. So I wanna thank you in advance. Make sure to go to youtube.com slash modern pepper and check out my library of Korean recipes so we can make more Korean food together. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. 다음 비디오에서 뵙겠습니다. So I will see you in one of the recipes right here.